With any pure data patch, you're probably going to have to do some sort of math in order to manipulate uh, MIDI data or manipulate a stream of data to get you know really interesting uh, results. And so, before we can even get to uh, really cool patches, we have to understand how pure data deals with math. I've got an empty canvas. It's unlocked. So let's create the equation 10 plus 5 equals 15. I'll create a message box and type 10. Another message box to give us 5. And now an object box with the plus sign. And that will add the two together. And so I'll take the outlet from 10 and put it in the hot inlet of the plus and the outlet from 5 and put it in the right inlet of the plus. So 10 plus 5 and as you can imagine the equals comes out of the outlet. I'll create a number atom that's Apple 3 and connect the outlet to the number atom. Now we need something to fire this equation so what we're going to do is create a bang. Type BNG and now we'll connect the bang to both the 10 and the 5. Now let's see what happens when we do this. You notice that we bang the equation we just get 10 even though it says 10 plus 5. However if we bang it again we'll get 15 and if we keep banging the equation we'll get 15. The reason is this. Pure data will send out bangs according to the order that you connect uh, objects to a bang. So for instance let me actually disconnect or delete the number atom and the two lines leading from the bang. Create a new number atom and connect it from the outlet of the plus. Now I'll connect the bang in order of 5 and then 10. Now remember last time when I did the first bang I only got 10. This time I get 15. And that's because it's banging in the order of first bang the 5 and send it into the uh, argument of the addition box then bang the 10 and do the equation. This can be really maddening when you're dealing with PD uh, because you're probably going to want to just connect these things as they come logically to you. You create a series of boxes maybe you read left to right and so you connect left to right but that's not always going to produce the right result uh, the right result immediately. So what we're going to do is we're going to use an object called trigger and trigger will force right to left bang order. So Apple 1 and I'll just type the letter T although you can actually type out trigger T and then I'm going to type two B's and that means uh, bang. Now you see that there are two outlets each one stands for the B that is what's going to be sent out and I'll delete the two lines coming from the bang and I'll move this trigger object between the 10 and the 5. Now I'll connect the bang to the trigger and it goes from right to left order so the rightmost inlet will bang first and I want it to bang the 5 first and then the leftmost inlet the 10. And here we get into the issue of hot and cold inlets. Hot inlets will always execute and that's always the uh, leftmost inlet. And so with the addition uh, object or with any mathematical object you want to make sure that the argument is set before you do the addition. So that's why we're banging the argument to store into the um, addition object and then firing the equation to go out. We'll go ahead and create a new number atom. That's command 3. And now if we lock the patcher we send a bang, we get 15. Of course, you could always uh, just connect in the right order and avoid the trigger, but that's going to mean that you've got to be on your toes when you're dealing with this so that you don't come across a situation where you're getting the incorrect results, but your patch is so complicated that it, it's hard to remember where you did the patching in the incorrect order.